Well, a year after closing its doors, a historic landmark is reopening. Flannery O'Connor's Andalusia will open for tours again in Milledgeville on Tuesday after Georgia College invested thousands of dollars in renovations. Sabrina Burse shows us a glimpse of what life was like for the well-known author. This is the home of Flannery O'Connor, a famous Southern writer who spent some of her last years in this home, writing some of her best work. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. As soon as you walk onto the front porch, you can hear the wind and the birds chirping. You feel a sense of how O'Connor lived. How did a woman that uh, knew that she was dying of lupus uh, deal with the limitations of her life here at the farm, but also overcome them? These are the questions director Matthew Davis hopes to answer when people visit the home. The first stop, her bedroom. Uh, a very well thought out layout considering her health and limitations. Davis says O'Connor got out of bed around 7 a.m. most mornings. Her Bible sits next to her bed with a cross hanging on the wall. You kind of get inside the mind of O'Connor. Um, you can kind of see a somewhat chaotic but also somewhat organized workspace. Pictures of O'Connor, her family, and some of her stories decorate the walls. Davis says Georgia College and others spent $30,000 keeping the home in its original condition, even the floors beneath her desk. All the furnishings in the room are original to the space, and we're very proud to showcase some of O'Connor's original china. Davis describes O'Connor as social, often inviting guests into her dining room, which leads to the kitchen. The uh, real key pieces of the room is the refrigerator in the space. Davis says in one of O'Connor's stories, the ice machine would spew ice at her. It's near the spot where she ate dinner and washed dishes. Now for famous people or people of the past, we tend to look past that they did the same chores that we did. Sabrina Burst, 13 WMAZ News. People can tour the home starting next Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tickets are $7 for adults, $6 for pre-booked groups and seniors, and $2 for students. Children six and under are free.